How are you doing? We will study today about the different modes of reproduction of mungo and other flowering plants. The learning objective in this video is to describe the different modes of reproduction of mungo and other flowering plants. Let's begin with this activity. Read the questions carefully and choose the correct answer from the choices below. First question, how do onions multiply? What is your answer? Okay, correct. Onions multiply through bulb. Question number two. What examples of runners can you give? Okay, correct. The correct answer is strawberry. Next, how do ginger plants reproduce? Okay, ginger plants reproduce through rhizomes. Number four, how do katakataka and welcome plants grow? The answer is through leaf cutting. Next, how are Santan, San Francisco, and rose plants planted? That's correct. They are planted through stem cutting. Next, how do kamote, potato, gabi, and ube grow? That's right. They grow from tuber. And the last question, what type of reproduction do some flowering plants have if they do not have seeds? It's called asexual reproduction. Take a look at the mungo seeds soaked in a wet cotton and another mungo seeds planted in can with soil. Take note, try to do this setup in your home. Today, we're going to describe the different modes of reproduction of mungo and other flowering plants. So this is the activity that you are going to do and perform at home. It's Watch Me Grow. The problem, how do mung bean plants reproduce? The materials that you need, soaked mungo seeds in disposable container, mungo seeds planted in can with soil, and hand lenses. So the procedures, number one, soak the seeds ahead of time. Number two, describe the seeds before soaking. And number three, describe the mung beans after soaking for two days. These are the questions that you have to answer after performing the experiment. Question number one, describe the seeds before soaking them. Number two, what happened to the seeds after soaking them for two days? Number three, how do mung bean or mungo plants reproduce? Number 4, show your drawings of their mode of reproduction. Now let's watch closely at this video on how mungo seed and other flowering plants reproduce.
mang din or munggo and other seed plants reproduce. This time, let's try to do this exercise. Help the bee navigate the reproductive process in flowering plants. Arrange the events in the correct order by writing letters A to F in the correct box, A being the starting point. A few minutes later, Okay, time to check your work. Letter A. A bee visits the flower and its buddy rubs off on pollen. Letter B. The bee visits another flower and the pollen transfer to the stigma. Letter C. Seed is dispersed to a new location. Letter D. Enough moisture, air, and water are available. The seed germinates. Letter E, plant grows and eventually bears flowers. And letter F, the flower dies and seed bud develops. Some plants develop a fruit with seeds. Remember kids, flowering and seed-bearing plants reproduce through pollination, the first step in the sexual reproduction of flowering plants. It is the transfer of pollen from the stamen to the pistil of the flower. Seed is burst out, the process by which seeds are brought to new places where they could grow and develop. Animals, winds, and water are some agents of seed dispersal. Fertilization takes place when the pollen tube reaches an ovule and the sperm unites with the egg. After fertilization, seeds and fruits begin to form. Seeds develop from ovules inside the ovaries of the flowers. Seed germination, the last part of reproduction in flowering plants. When the conditions are favorable, such as good soil, warmth, and enough water, the seed will germinate. What must we do to the seeds after eating the fruits? Should you just throw them away? Why or why not? It's time to get your pen and paper and take this quiz. Just write the letter of the best answer. Number 1. Which is the first step in the sexual reproduction in flowering or seed-bearing plants? Letter A. Fertilization B. Seed germination C. Seed dispersal D. Pollination Number 2. Which of the following describes fertilization in plants? A. It is the process where the sperm cell unites with the egg cell. B. It is the transfer of pollen from one flower to another. Letter C. It is the last part in the reproduction of flowering plants. And letter D. It is the first step in the sexual reproduction of flowering plants. Number 3. How do you know the seed is germinating? A. The seed dries up. B. The cotyledons dry off. Letter C. A tiny root and stem appears. Letter D. The petal and the sepal fall off. Number 4. Omar planted some santo seed. After some days, he saw a tiny stem beginning to grow in one of the seeds. What is happening to the seed? A. The seed was wilting. B. The seed was germinating. Letter C. The seed was getting fertilized. Letter D. The seed was making its own seed. Number 5. Which shows the correct sequence how seed-bearing plants reproduce? A. Pollination Fertilization Seed dispersal Seed germination Letter B. Fertilization Pollination Seed dispersal Seed germination 
letter C, seed germination, seed dispersal, pollination, fertilization. Letter D, seed dispersal, pollination, seed germination, fertilization. Check your own work. Good job! Congratulations that you are done with this lesson. For your offline activity, draw in your science notebook the process of seed germination in plants. Then, describe the mode of reproduction of seed-bearing plants. That would be all for today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Mary Ann. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!